Alright, so before this video starts, uh, I am a little sick at the moment, so I apologize if you can hear that in the video. Um, regardless, um, I just wanted to quickly react to this new uh, Nintendo Direct Mini. Uh, by the time you watch this, uh, the Direct will be long over, so it's not going to be like a live thing, obviously, but yeah. I just wanted to quickly get that out of the way, and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, the usual COVID-19 information bit. Oh, here we go. Capcom? What? What is this? Is it... Monster Hunter? I'm guessing that's what it is. I'm not familiar with this franchise at all, if that's what it is, so I hope you'll have me excused. But yeah, this has to be Monster Hunter. Right. Can't imagine it being anything else. Oh, but these running animations, what the fuck? This is a long ass trailer, not even gonna lie. Especially considering it looks like every other monster in a game, for the most part. I just don't care. There is nothing here that's like drawing me in. Like, I don't care for the franchise at all, to be honest, like... Like, it's so oversaturated at this point. Hot take, I know. Cancel me if you want. But, like, how many games are there now? And how many of them are on the Switch? And, again, how many of those have come out, like, just in the last couple of years? There are so many at this point, I... I, I, I don't even know. And, and to be fair, this is DLC, and I think I remember them talking about this, like... Um, Master Act, but still. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Thank you. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our publishing and development partners. Okay, let's get into Which the Which keeps me hopeful that this might... Like, publishing and development partners... I don't think we're gonna see Bayonetta 3, but I have my hopes up. Kind of. You know, um, Bayonetta is technically third party, but it's like published by Nintendo, but developed by Platinum Games and owned by. Oh! All right. Is is this? Is this the full on New Automata, or is this like some? Um. Some like spin off. You know, like how we don't have Persona 5 on Switch, but we have the spin-off, whatever that was called. This looks like... The actual one. It has to be. Oh, this is... This is the full-on game. Oh, I heard rumors about this, but that, that's... That's a, that's great. I've never played it, I've never watched, like, walk playthroughs or anything like that. I don't know anything about the game, practically, other than there, there's like a trillion different endings, and that it's like dark and fucked up. But I, I've i had some interest in it, so I I just might get that, honestly. 
looks real fun. And it and it's not it's not a cloud version either, so it's like why not? As long as it doesn't like run horribly, you know, three three frames per second, 480p, all that. No. Regardless, uh, like I, I I know I spent most of that time talking about near, but like not not too interested, not too interested. Especially when it comes to Bomberman. Bomberman? Yeah. God, I remember when the original Super Bomberman R launched, like, day one on the Switch, and people were not impressed. Like, I don't think, no one thought it sucked, it was just like bare bones, and no one cared for it. So, it being a sequel to that, eh. Bomberman is just like such a relic of the past. That I don't care for. There's so simple in its gameplay that it, there's nothing interesting about it. Same goes for Mega Man, honestly. This collection includes a gallery with over 1,000 illustrations and a music mode containing over 150 songs from across the series. See, that's the thing. Like stuff like this, you're only gonna. Uh, you're gonna look at that like once and then never again, which is honestly like one of the things that I, I kind of understood but also like didn't agree with when it comes to, came to the criticism with the, uh, 3D All Stars collection, uh, and that like people said, oh, well, there's like no content, there's nothing interesting, and, like, like there's no, nothing new, nothing special, nothing additional, whatever. You get my point. And like, I get that, but also, you're gonna look at that like once, maybe twice, and then never again. The games are what you come for, so I don't care for art books, I don't care for this like music library and any of that. Again, it's fun to have, like, it's... I don't care. You know, you remember the thing I said about like being a relic of the past with far too simple gameplay to keep it interesting? Yeah, you do the math. The art style is... Like on one hand, interesting, and on the other, like far too boring to keep my attention. It seems like the, the kind of game that would be fun in a way, but like also just like boring. I mean, it's an indie game; it's not gonna be that special. My name is. You heard me. Remember that I said about being sick. Ugh, not joking. Mm. This does not look great. I have to be honest. It looks like a high-end mobile game from like 2013, 2014 maybe. Uh, that would be again fun and mobile, but like far too boring and basic. Anywhere else. And I just don't care. And I mean, I know this is a partner direct, so I was never gonna love everything here, because, you know, uh, I don't care for any games, but it's fun to see another bigger, bigger game, but, like, I don't care for this either, honestly. Like, I know people actually, like, enjoyed uh, the original game, and I've, I've tried it out, my friend has it, but, like, I just did not care for it. Honestly. It's not bad, it just is not my type of game. <coughs> I mean, creative concepts, I'll give them that, but... Oh god, this. <laughs> I've heard about... The, <laughs> People are not impressed from what I've gathered. <laughs> It's looking empty really as shit. Open zone. That was the thing about like Breath of the Wild, for example, that, you know, Lock on. Uh, the world was filled with so much stuff to do, even just uh, hunting animals or just flat out exploring, but Sonic's fast pace of gameplay just does not mesh well with that. I, I don't think, because you're not going to put in a level of detail, you're not going to in the world like that, when you you're just gonna run past everything anyways, right? 
at super sonic speed. Ha 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 ha. Fucking dying la laughter here. Got the whole damn squad laughing. I mean, I'll give them credits, credits for like doing something interesting and something like new, but. <laughs> oh, Queen Ursula! We love to see it! It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look that interesting. The graphics are generic as hell, though. <laughs> I'll say that much. I mean, this just looks like a shittier version of like some love child of Animal Crossing and like Heyday or Farmville, like one of the two. Oh yeah. Forgot about this. Not interested, honestly. Oh god. Can I be honest and just say that I've never cared for... And by never cared for, I just mean I've never liked at all the art style of... I like, um... Dragon Quest or... Like, especially Dragon Ball. Like those two. It, I don't like it. Like, their faces look hideous. Their foreheads are the size of... Well, me. Or Jupiter. It is just not interesting. We're nearing the end already? I mean, I know it's a direct mini, but like, goddamn. Okay, three hopes. Don't really care, but, you know. No mask. I, I want to get that, genuinely. It seems like it's actual fun now uh, that they've updated it a lot. It would interest me had it not been the cloud version. For the yeah. I never played it, but like, it looks fun, you know? But, again, clouds. Ah! Aperture! Meaning this is going to have so much fun together. Portal, yeah. <laughs> Your participation is appreciated and required. There might even be cake. <laughs> there might the companion collection will be available later today. I wanted to Today why do you keep pulling your collection? But oh well. Today Let's start it, you monster. Oh my god. I want that! Uh, voice voice crack. I want that. I'm getting that. A hundred percent. Square is behind some of the, mo uh, the best games of all time, but also some of the least interesting ones ever fucking made. Like this. Like, that Dragon Quest stuff from earlier. <coughs> but anyways, Portal! I... Wanted to get like a physical copy because I thought that that might be coming, but it does not look like it. If that's the case, I'm just gonna download it like right after this, honestly. So I played the second one like years ago. Never played the first one, and I would not mind play the, playing the second one again. And I mean, they're amazing games. So I, I want that. I'm getting that, a hundred percent. This, however, not so much. This next segment will be our last announcement. Mm. Please take a look. You better give me something interesting. Oh! Mission start. Oh, after all these years. October 21st. I hope you're ready. We will steal your heart on Nintendo Switch. Wow. People have been asking for this for so goddamn long. I've never played any of the Persona games, and I'm not sh quite- Oh, Royal is the better version, too. Persona 5 Royal will launch on Nintendo Switch October 21st. Yeah. And that's not all. Let's keep the ball rolling. Huh, Teddy? <laughs> right on! Uh, nice baton pass, Morgana! What? Okay, everyone. Check this out. Persona 4. Golden. And clearly more, considering they're just casually dropping it like that. Better bear leave it! Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable Persona 3 are also Wow. Not getting 
three or four likely. I might, I might look into Persona 5. I'm not sure it's my type of game, but it also looks kind of fun. I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping there is another direct not too long from now. I mean, it kind of has to be right. They can't keep keep us waiting like that much longer. Considering like we have Bayonetta 3 coming out, which is one thing, like uh, they're not just gonna casually drop a trailer like that in the middle of nowhere. So it, it's either gonna be for an event of some sorts, which I don't have any control over, or uh, for the directs, right? So something's gotta be coming in not too long, right? But um, so uh. This direct was not that bad. It, like it, it was even decent. I, decent. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not gonna be that stereotypical Nintendo fan, just like endlessly complaining regardless. And it like, mm. for what it was, it was fine. Um, definitely getting Portal like immediately, and uh, I, I'm probably gonna get a near Tabata as well. That I. That's such a good game, from what I've gathered, it's like one of Platinum's best. Uh, and yeah, yeah, that's kind of it to be honest. Again, I might look into Persona 5, but that's kind of it. Uh, but for what it is, I the direct was fine enough, and uh, I hope you're looking forward to more of this stuff than I am. <laughs> that's for sure, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!